Why should you deprive yourself from having muffins when you know that you can bake super healthy and delicious muffins? Hey guys, it's Jenna here. I bet you're watching this video because you love muffins, but just like me, you wouldn't want to get a muffin top from eating them. So I want to share with you my favourite muffin recipes which I like to have for breakfast or even as a pre-workout snack. Nutty banana muffins, chocolate peanut butter muffins and of course cranberry zucchini muffins. I absolutely love these recipes because they are so easy and quick to put together and of course you can make them ahead. So on a busy day, just have a quick breakfast bite or eat them on the go. These recipes are great for vegans. We won't be using any butter, sugar, flour or eggs. Another great thing about these muffins is that they all start with the same batter. So you can pretty much add anything you like to the mix. Each recipe makes six muffins. So let's start by making the egg replacement. In a small bowl, mix one tablespoon of chia seeds with three tablespoons of water. Allow the mix to sit for about 5 minutes until it becomes pudding-like, similar to raw egg yolk. Now we want to make the basic batter. In a large bowl, I'm going to add all the dry ingredients, so 3 quarter cup of oat flour. You can choose to use almond flour or any other flour of your choice. To that, I'm going to add quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Combine well. In another bowl, I'm going to add all the wet ingredients half a cup of soya milk. Again, you can choose any other milk of your choice. Then we want to add two tablespoons of maple syrup or honey, one tablespoon of coconut oil, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and the chia mixture. Or if you're not a vegan, you can replace the chia mixture with an egg. Mix well. To make the batter, we want to combine the wet and dry ingredients. So that's the base of your batter, which you can then add any ingredients you like. So let's start by making the nutty banana muffins. We want to add two medium sliced bananas into the wet mixture. Roughly mash them up using a fork. You want to make sure your bananas are extra ripe to really get the natural sweetness from the fruit. Don't worry about the chunks, it gives extra texture to the muffins. Then we want to combine the dry and wet ingredients. And I'm going to add about 3 tablespoons of crushed almond nuts into the mix. Again, you can choose any other nuts or seeds of your choice. Scoop the batter into 6 muffin tins. And I'm going to top them up with a little more crushed almond nuts just for presentation. Then bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for just about 15 minutes until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Once they're done, your house will smell of freshly baked muffins. If you love the crunchy texture of nuts, you will love this recipe. Every bite you take is filled with almond nuts and the sweetness of bananas. Allow them to cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes before serving. Next, chocolate peanut butter muffins. So we want to add quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder into the dry ingredients and 2 tablespoons of peanut butter into the wet ingredients. Combine the dry and wet ingredients. And finally, stir in the chocolate chips. Again, scoop the batter into 6 muffin tins. Then bake them in a preheated oven for about 15 minutes. Chocolate lovers, this recipe is for you. This muffin is really rich with cocoa and every bite you take, you will bite into the melted chocolate chips. I have to say, this is one of my favourite ways to indulge in chocolate, especially for breakfast. And finally, let's make the cranberry zucchini muffins. So start by mixing the basic wet and dry ingredients together. Then we want to simply add 1 cup of grated zucchini and quarter cup of dried cranberries into the batter. Stir well to make sure that all the ingredients are well combined. If at all your batter gets too thick, you can add about 2 tablespoons of water into the mix. You know the next step, 
We want to scoop the batter into six muffin tins and bake them in a preheated oven for about 15 minutes. Having this muffin for breakfast is a great way to add more vegetables into your diet. So these are all really basic muffin recipes which you can change and adapt to your liking. They are not going to be overly sweet. If you like your muffins to be sweeter, you can add more maple syrup or honey or even applesauce into the mix. I prefer them this way because I like to spread jam, honey or even peanut butter onto the muffins. The chia seeds will give the muffin a slight pudding-like texture. So it's crunchy on the outside but moist on the inside. I like to call these super muffins because they are packed with good nutrients, good calories and they are good for your body. And guys, I want you to get into your kitchen and start baking these super muffins. Don't forget to snap pictures and share them with me on your Instagram and Facebook. Tag me at Joanna Sa Official. If you love these muffins, then give this video a thumb up, share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for new weekly videos. Do watch my recommended videos right at the end for more breakfast recipes. All the best!